this is sea kale, Cranby maritima, and this is usually the first um, perennial vegetable that I'll recommend to people who are just starting out. And the reason for that is it's pretty easy to grow, it's really tasty, um, it's aesthetically very beautiful, and it also has a lot of different harvest windows. Uh, and we're kind of in between two, um, which is fine because that means that both, both harvests are available. So these young leaves have been harvestable for a, a couple of weeks now, and they closely resemble kale in flavor and texture. Um, they're great raw or cooked, either way. Um, and we're just starting to see the flower buds now, which look like this. And they're very much like tiny perennial broccolis. Um, I would say they're, they're even more flavorful than most broccolis. I really like those. Uh, in a few more weeks, maybe three weeks or so, um, those flowers will be blooming. Um, the flowers are beautiful, prolific. Uh, heavily honey scented, so they're nice to have around, and they attract surfid flies, which are an important group of beneficial insects. And once the flowers go by, there's another harvest window of the immature seed pods that taste uh, a lot like snap peas. Also around that time, these leaves will be uh, large, immature, maybe as much as 10 or 12 inches long, and the flavor and texture will more closely resemble collard greens. I still find them good to eat raw, um, but they would also certainly be suitable for, for cooking wet collards. Now, these plants are fairly small, and that's because of that I've disturbed them by taking divisions many times uh, for the nursery. If, if one plant was left to kind of establish and come into its mature form, it could form a rosette as much as three feet across um, in, in the middle of summer. So they can get pretty substantial. They really do like full sun, ideally well-drained soil, um, and they're well adapted to salt tolerance. Uh, so if you've got a spot that's near the ocean or a salty runoff uh, from spreading salt in the winter, this is, plant is a great option. This sea kale patch is now in full bloom. All the, uh, the foliage is still perfectly good to eat, and these flowers are edible, um, just like the flower buds were um, before they popped open. I usually don't have the heart to eat them because not only are they feeding pollinators, especially uh, those lovely surfid flies, but they're also really strongly honey scented. Like you can smell this plant like, you know, 20 or 30 feet away as you approach. And they're beautiful. Um, so I, I usually just let them alone while they're in bloom. And then as they start to go by and the seed buds develop, I'll come back around and eat them. Uh, and those seed buds, or uh, seed pods, are about the size of a shelled pea, and they taste a lot like a snap pea. Once they start to mature, they're barely edible anymore. Um, but when they're still succulent and green, they're quite delicious.